Hi everybody and welcome to another piano video here on the Miriam Pianos YouTube channel. Today we are checking out a brand new plugin from Vienna Symphonic Library's Synchron Pianos Library. This is a Bechstein 1904 vintage upright that they have now sampled and sent into the Synchron Studios. I'm pretty excited to hear what this is all about because upright pianos, you know, get the short end of the stick. There just aren't enough of them in the software and hardware space in terms of emulation. Uh, so this is going to be interesting. Also, capturing a vintage upright with the right balance of musicality um, and kind of cliche is a tough balance to strike. So let's see where VSL lands. I'm also going to be bringing in Keyscape's uh, wingtip piano because I think that really is one of the other industry gold standards and just giving you an opportunity to hear these two side by side because uh, certainly that's what's on my mind. If it's the first time that you are seeing us here on YouTube, I and we would really appreciate if you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell it really helps us out. But it joins you to a community of piano lovers from all over the world. The chat is great, the comments are great, uh, and hopefully you think the content is great. So without further ado, let's jump right in with this new VSL plugin right away. Well, it's always a very exciting day when I hear that Vienna Symphonic Libraries have come out with a new product. I absolutely love what they have done with the Synchron Library, and we've done a whole bunch of videos uh, on this channel. One of the things that they've managed to capture uh, in every literal sense with that plugin series uh, is a true, uh, I guess what audiophiles would probably refer to as a soundstage or a soundscape of the pianos uh, that they are trying to render. When you put the headphones on, when you listen to them through a set of monitors uh, that's of high quality, uh, you can really put yourself in a true three-dimensional space uh, with that instrument uh, and completely immerse yourself. So I love the fact that the recording uh, of those instruments is authentic enough uh, that it really does capture the space and the instrument at, at a stunning level of detail. But the other thing that's great about it uh, is the fact that it really gives you an engineer's view of what's going on with that instrument. There are so many different mic placements uh, and a full ability to uh, manipulate and edit those mic placements uh, right within the plugin itself. Never mind that you could route that audio if you wanted to out to you know other tracks within your DAW and do it. Uh, externally uh, to the plugin, but uh, it really does truly simulate uh, the experience of being in a studio with one of these great instruments recorded eight or nine different ways and have the ability after the fact to completely uh, customize uh, the, the, the outcome. We had uh, a notification that they are coming out with a brand new one. It is a Bechstein's 1904 upright. Uh, and so I jumped on the site, downloaded the demo, 30 day demo, uh, the second that I had a chance to do so. Uh, and we are now able to start playing around with it. And as I did it, I started to think, well, it might be really cool to also do this as a comparison to my previous favorite upright piano uh, that kind of was of a vintage vibe, which was this Keyscape's wingtip piano. So we've got both of those, we're gonna do sort of a bit of a side by side. Before we go any further, let's just hear this 1904 uh, Bechstein. I've got it hooked up uh, to the Novus just as a MIDI trigger, uh, but you are hearing the direct audio right out of the DAW. Thank you. 
So that was the player setting that you just heard. Um, I'm going to actually change it over to uh, the intimate setting. And let's hear what that sounds like. So that was the vintage setting that we just heard. We're now gonna switch over to the player setting and see uh, what sort of different character we get out of that. So there's a tremendous amount of detail that we get out of either one of those, and there's several settings within the plugin. Um, but what I really like about it compared to some of the other uh, uprights and the stylized uprights that I've heard is that there is still a tremendous capacity and depth to draw musical moments out of the instrument. It's not uh, cartooned. or certainly not to the point where uh, you're forced into such a narrow genre that it's limiting. Yeah, it's so easy to weave into uh, like a classic jazz, but it also really lends itself uh, quite well to like a... kind of an indie pop uh, sound, but you can really go very Tim Burton-ish with it.
I should say Danny Elfman, not Tim Burton, but the association is so dramatically there. So that's how the Bechstein 1904 is really coming across to me. Now I did mention that we had a comparison and so let's just listen to what the Keyscape wingtip piano, which up to this point for something kind of stylized and vintage really had been my gold standard. So here is the wingtip. Wow, the mechanical detail on there is crazy. Interesting. Such different characters. So on the Keyscape, there's such a pronounced uh, hammer noise on the string that uh, it's very difficult to get around or ignore. It, it, it adds this such distinctive association to the piano with a little bit honky-tonk or, it, yeah, it, it disrupts some of the creative flow you might have otherwise. But it all depends on the music that you're going for because I certainly love so much about this Keyscape. But I guess the point is until I'd heard this Beckstein, I hadn't really considered the kind of musical range or potential uh, that existed when you were still drawing from a vintage upright, um, but trying for a much, yeah, a, a much broader musical palette. Like all of the VSLs, uh, it comes with a really nice interface. Uh, also uh, gives you the ability uh, to expand that interface beyond the usual uh, small windows. So you can really blow it up, something like this. You've got the lovely shot of the C. Beckstein that looks like a vintage Concert 8 to me. Uh, then you've got all of your standard controls here. You've got your reverbs, your volume, uh, your dynamic, uh, your overall percentage of dynamic that you want, um, your body resonance, your sympathetic resonance, which is actually turned off. Um, but I actually find that if this, this comes up to about uh, like 5 dB or so, it's, it, it's a nice effect. Uh, your MIDI sensitivity, half pedaling, all of that stuff. Uh, these are all of your presets, but you can really get in there and muck with this, just like all of the other Synchron pianos. Um, when you are able to activate all of these different uh, mic pairs, mix them, pan them, it's just, it's a thing of beauty, I gotta say. Um, and then these are all of the various presets that you can also access. So I guess as a first look, those are my impressions, is 
Uh, for a vintage upright, this has probably got the broadest palette of any that I've sampled. I really like that they haven't tried to uh, eliminate some of those um, aged tones. There's a few bass notes and bass strings in there you can tell are still original bass strings. There's been no attempt to kind of modernize the sound of this instrument at all. Uh, so there's a little bit of a weathered string feel to it. Sounds like these are original hammers, although they've probably been uh, voiced about as best as they possibly can. And clearly the instrument's been maintained really well because the mechanical noise on the action is much more minimized than on some other examples um, of vintage uprights that I have uh, seen and played uh, in the software space. And notably, compared to Keyscape, which as I said earlier in the video, really was uh, up to this point my favorite, um, the versatility that this gives me um, is kind of ear opening. I was going to say eye opening, but um, it, it does give you the option of taking that sound, I think, into a broader range of textures and genres uh, than some of the other ones do uh, without losing uh, those, uh, those characteristics that you really still want to hear. Thank you so much for checking out uh, this preview uh, into VSL's uh, brand new plugin for their Synchron library. This is the Beckstein uh, 1904 Upright Sample Set. My name is Stu Harrison. This has been Marion Pianos on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again soon.